While most of Iowa's hunting seasons are now closed, some hunters are turning to coyotes. Coyote hunting is open all year and night hunting is legal. Now, this is a controversial practice, with some arguing hunting at night gives an unfair advantage to humans. And interestingly, the price of Iowa's coyote pelts has dropped over the last few years. Here to talk about all this is Vince Evelsizer, fur bear wildlife biologist for the Iowa DNR. We're going to see if we can get Vince pulled up here on Zoom for you. Vince, thank you so much for being back here on The Current. I want to start with this practice of night hunting. While controversial, it is legal in the state. However, you cannot use an artificial light. Is that correct? So what is legal is uh, thermal optics that don't cast a light and then infrared uh, light sources can be used as long as it's attached to their weapon and it cannot be used during the, the gun deer seasons and the deer bow season, but it can be used throughout the rest of the year. Okay. Well, something that hunters have to be wary of when it comes to coyote hunting is mistaking wolves for coyotes. Talk about that. Yeah, that, that was one of our biggest messages is that we just encourage coyote hunters, if they're going to be out there hunting at night, you know, regardless of your technology, to just be sure of your target. If you see something that's bigger than a normal sized adult coyote, don't pull the trigger if you're in doubt. Okay, well, back in 2020, Iowa coyote pelts were selling for almost $21 each, and that was considered average, but this year that price has dropped to $8.70. Why is that? Uh, during those years, uh, three or four years ago, coyote pelts were worth more because they were valued for the trim trade, uh, specifically for some of the higher end winter parkas. And since that time, um, those have lost value. So Iowa coyotes, along with other coyotes throughout the U.S., are now worth less. And is it true that, you know, Iowa pelts are behind some of our northern neighbors' states? The Iowa coyotes are considered average. Some of the better coyote pelts, some of the best coyote pelts are in the Dakotas and Montana and Prairie Canada. Those are the higher value coyote pelts because they're a, typically a thicker, more pale color overall. Hmm. Well, Vince, in the time that we've left, I wanted to slightly pivot. The last time you were here on The Current, we were talking about Iowa's critically endangered gray fox population. And I understand you had a meeting this morning about your ongoing conservation efforts. Can you give us an update on this situation? Yeah, it's been a, a good story overall. Um, the gray fox is a really neat little animal. Adults only weigh 10 to 12 pounds and current, however, we only have one gray fox collared at this time. And so we're actually asking private trappers to help us catch the gray fox for conservation purposes, you know, to be able to do more science. So we have one collared right now. That gray fox is doing uh, quite well so far to date. Um, at last we saw it was healthy and we've been able to kind of start getting a home range mapped out with that animal. So, so far, so good with that. Anything can happen at any time to a gray fox, you know, so we'll see what happens with this one. It'll be real interesting. Mm -hmm. Of course, if people want to learn more about how they can contact Iowa DNR about gray foxes, we have that up on our website, 